you have the Wi-Fi, I'll keep it on me. Yeah. Oh, you're live, Bill. Well, everyone, we're here with nine-time PGA Tour winner Stuart Appleby. Stuart, you're going to tell us a little bit uh, about the warm-up before a round. Uh, you maybe show us a few uh, moves and uh, what you do to, to warm up, especially when it's a little chilly out like it is today here at the uh, AT&T Pebble yeah. Beach pro -Am. You're not wrong. Um, obviously, any of you guys in the, the Midwest, maybe a few months from now, uh, same with the Northeasterners. Uh, I'm from Florida, so it's not too bad. But the things you're going to bump into is those days where you're itching to get out and play, and it might be 45 degrees, maybe cooler. Uh, you're dying to get out. The big thing you'll have is you guys probably been inside a lot and maybe a little bit stiff. Uh, you know, watching a bit of football, dreaming about what playing a bit of golf, those sort of things. Um, things that you'll notice, and, and a lot of you maybe got the day jobs where you're sitting in an aeroplane or sitting on a, on a chair, is the hips, the back, the lower back are going to get. Sitting a bit in a chair in that sort of position, things can get very tight for us. When we're sitting in this position, lower back, things like that can get quite fatigued. Um, but really, the thing to make us hit the ball solid and, and through distance is going to be the hip move and how well our hips move. Um, a traditional fault you'll see with amateurs if they're very tight in the glutes and the butt is they won't be able to go like this. So I guess it'll feel like sit on that right cheek for a right hander. And then when they come through, they won't be able to turn and get that left cheek out of the way, the left butt cheek, so it'll be, it'll be sort of this, right, they call the reverse seat, the reverse pivot, this way, this is how you cut, you can cheat doing this way, and then obviously the opposite of that is that way. So hip mobility and what you have uh, is very important in how you can individual So just make sure that you're comfortable with what I'm going to show you, or check with your position that it makes sense, when you're doing anything stupid. But um, one of the really simple one, it's very easy to grasp, would be one leg, sort of flex position like you'd be in a golf swing like that yeah. and really just move your say right leg first doesn't really matter just go back and right. so you, you straight away you're going to put a lot of load a lot of sort of heat and warming up you can also see you're getting a bit of um, extension here you're in the flex here you're sort of extending here when you go that way so that'll start to feel the burn now you can swap obviously go to the other side and what you're doing is you're sort of relating here's your lower back getting warmed up here's your getting warmed up and you might think well that's pretty easy but what you're going to try and do next is you're actually going to go across your body so what it would look like would be this way so you can see now we're actually getting a bit of a stretch from this part of the hip and the glute so and then you're going out so you're getting here here's a little bit of your back swing these angles here the right hand Sitting in a chair six or eight hours a day or an airplane, you're going to hate this one. But hip flex 
backs as most people have, have bad backs, they're very tight. Uh, it comes with glutes, stretching glutes and, and tight hip flexors. I'll hit a couple of shots, I'll sort of show you what what I uh, what I think a lot of this a lot of the stuff that will help you get better at is your setup position. Um, and obviously once you've set up, that doesn't correlate into a great golf swing by any means. But we're looking for this sort of athletic stance where the weight is really through the middle of your feet. You don't want to be toe-biased and you don't want to feel like you can do a wheelie with your toes. So if you see guys out here reaching, you know, I take the club back now the club wants to pull me even further forward. So you want to really feel like your weight's through, I would say through the middle of your laces. So after you've warmed up now, you should have that sort of feeling like your hips. You feel like a 16-year-old Chinese gymnast, you know? Well, actually, that's probably old now. If you're 16, you're finished as a gymnast, do you? So you, you've got that beautiful turn there. You have to feel like you can sit into that right side. And then when you follow through, you'll get up onto that left side. So after you've done those exercises on that sort of cold day, apart from your fingers ringing after you've skinnied a couple of shots, you really want to feel like your practice warm-up revolves around balance. Okay, so don't worry about the ball. Certainly not if you've come out of hibernation at all. Don't worry about where it's going. But you want to really think like, where's my weight? Is it down and even? When I follow through, I feel like you could spend 10 seconds in that position. Right? If you feel like you can, I guess, pose on it, that's a great start. Because what that tells you is that if you've got balanced here, you're always balanced up here. It's very hard if you're lost here to regain it to the stage where you're fully balanced. If you find that when you're following through, you're like, you know, you sort of had it, that it was all, it's all pear-shaped in this part of the swim. So in the first part of your warm-up, after you've done a few exercises, stretch those muscles. Stuart, a little bit of that stretching of the muscles that you were talking about, that has a lot to do with, you know, preventing the whole idea of swaying the hips instead of properly rotating. Well, look, correct? you're not going to, if you've got a, a, a fault in your swing that is just inherent and it's just, it is what it is, you know, you're not going to get rid of it totally by warming up your hips. Some people may notice no difference. Some people may go, holy cow, I had no idea this is how, you know, my body can feel. Doing it even get, you know, once you're sort of warmed up in the day, had a coffee, whatever, you're up and about, brilliant exercise to do anywhere. You'll look a little like an idiot. You'll think it's what sort of dance is this? But your body will give you good feedback. I love this one. I try and go as far as I can. You can use a club as well. But I mean, that's really, that's really good external on that one. And then this way, obviously, it's huge. So that's almost as far as Miguel Angel Jimenez. There. Yeah, he has the. How is that? The, it's like the stir in the soup. I don't know what this one is. This is like. But I don't mind this. It looks stupid, but actually feels pretty good. But, now look, I think that. Uh, most amateurs are just out practicing and they're just trying to, you know, even though they've not played for four months or three months, wherever, it, the, the expectations are still too high. And no doubt, if you've got stiff hips, this will feel, this will be really quite interesting. All the, all the great golfers, especially when you're younger, they're super mobile. The guys, in the, you watch them sometimes, they warm up, it's like stretching hot licorice. But if you're generally, most population, you're 50, 60, Years old, male, female. I mean, you're always you're, you can easily bitch about how sore you feel in the morning uh, or afternoon or your first round of golf. That's quite typical. So I think once you've done that warm up, feel the balance, and if you can hold your follow through, that's a great way to start. Well, Stuart, just wanted to thank you again for showing us some tips on how to warm up, and uh, hopefully everyone at home uh, appreciated it. Stuart, thanks a lot. Good, Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Keep warm. Have fun. <laughs>